Hello and good morning. It's the third and last day of our conference. I'm not saying what day of the week it is today. <laughs> yeah, so today we won't start the day off with, the, with a keynote. Um, I have some short announcements to make about the paper chairs, about the proceedings, the conference bags, and we also have still some items for, for lost and found. Maybe you're interested, bidding starts at one euro. <laughs> You've seen our paper chairs, so if you are interested in these paper chairs, please take one with you. They are nice, they are great for the kids or great for sitting in the queue at the airport. So. <laughs> Yes, if you want one, take one. They can be unfolded again into a large, large sheet of paper. But yeah, don't hesitate. You've seen our conference proceedings. We have some more conference proceedings. They are for sharing. Please take conference proceedings. They are great to give to your boss because how can your boss tell that you've learned something only if you give him some dead trees because, well, that's how bosses know my employee has learned something. Or share them with your colleagues because, well, yeah, it's harder to ignore some paper on your desk than some mail with here's some interesting links. So please take the proceedings and share them with your boss and your colleagues. Also, we have those fantastic conference bags. They are also great for your boss, <laughs> or for your colleagues, or for the airport, <laughs> or your... <laughs> or also, <laughs> also for your next guerrilla meeting, I don't know, maybe the PHP resistance force or whatever. <laughs> So yeah, that's um, about the items. And now I still have some sunglasses. It's still the same from yesterday, but nobody wants these cool sunglasses. NASCAR sunglasses, I don't know. Yeah, well. <laughs> Um, a UK prong power cable, I don't know anybody, anybody missing a UK power cable. And also a white Apple branded power cable with the magnetic, um, I think it's a four wire connector. So, yeah, if your shiny Apple light goes out, maybe <laughs> you want this one. <laughs> yeah, I hear one euro, one euro. No, there will be no auction this year. <laughs> so, yeah, if you didn't work up the courage to come on stage to pick up your belongings, um, you can find them at the reception. And that's it for me. And now I'm very happy to announce the uh, Kiev team or the representative of the Kiev team. And he will tell us a bit about next year's Kiev team. Good morning, Frankel. And hello, Perlers. First of all, I would like to say thank you for great Frankfurt PM and uh, for great uh, organizers who actually organized this conference for us. And Max, please don't run away. I have a small gift for you. And well, this is traditional to give small, uh, small, some uh, gifts for the organizers team that represents next 
uh, Yapsi. So next Yapsi will be in Kyiv, Ukraine. So this is actually a represent of the Kyiv. There is uh, Archangel Mikhail, you can know it as Michael. So this is empty now and I, hope, I, I really hope to fill it with a proper liquid next year in Kyiv. So, Thank you, thank you, Frankfurt. And please give me a few seconds. Aha, uh -huh. okay. So, uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> So as a Ukrainian citizen and as a leader of Kyiv PM Mongers Group, I'm just excited that Kyiv was chosen by uh, Yapsi Europe uh, Foundation for the next year uh, Yapsi Europe venue. Uh, I'm just, just happy about that. And Kyiv is, uh, I have to say that Kyiv is a beautiful city and you will like it and I believe you will even love it. So I have, uh, I want to say you just a few words about the Kyiv, about the country, uh, what to expect, what to be ready for. So most essential things goes first. I don't think you need any comments for this slide. <laughs> um, actually, we expect almost the same weather next year. So <laughs> just be ready. Well. Visa issues. Uh, most of you just don't need any kind of visas because Europeans don't need visa, uh, Russians don't need visa, uh, you, United States citizens all do, too don't need any kind of visa. Actually, if you see your country on that uh, big list, you don't need any kind of visa. Even if some uh, people from Vatican decided to visit uh, Yapsi Europe next year, they don't need visa. But please remember that uh, you still need your foreign passport for, to go to Ukraine. If you have any concerns of that, please ask Getty. Is Getty here? No, he's not. So please ask Getty because last year he didn't manage to get to Ukraine because of that issue. Australia. Yeah. <laughs> uh, if you are from Jamaica, sorry, you still need visa. <laughs> so, safety. Uh, I have heard uh, some concerns uh, from people here about safety in Ukraine, about how safe is it, do you have that political issues or something like that. So I have to say that Kyiv held Euro 2012 this year and we had uh, thousands of football fans that are not that really nice as uh, parlors are. And there was no major accidents, they, are, uh, they all leave country with no major accidents and we still survive and Kyiv still standing there. And if, if it's not enough for you, uh, Kyiv held a Perlmova event, Perlmova workshop last year. And you can ask Mia Gava, you can ask Gabor, you can ask uh, Florian Ragwitz, you can ask, uh, well, you can ask people who were there. They're still alive and still, uh, most of them are here, yes. <laughs> So I have to say that Kyiv is almost the same safe as Frankfurt is. So there is no just the main concerns about that. And well, I have to say that uh, Kyiv Pearl Mongers group is actually a younger, young group, but we, have, we already have our traditions and well, we have our traditions to bring all our guests to this special place with this lucky cat and uh, wise cat. And I hope, I really hope to uh, grow up my collection of the pictures with a lot of you next year. So please prepare. And yeah, I have to switch to the video. <laughs> so I would like to employ YouTube uh, just to give you a rough picture of uh, Kyiv city while I'm talking here. Yeah. So uh, Kyiv PM uh, together with Moscow PM and sometimes independently uh, organized a lot of uh, Perl events for last couple of years. Uh, we had uh, four Perl Mova workshops in Kiev annually, and it got uh, got it up to uh, 150 people. Uh, also, you might know Andrei Shitov, who organized just a dozen of uh, Perl events across uh, Russia, and not only Russia. You probably remember last uh, Yapsi Europe in Riga. Who, which was organized by Andrei Shetol. So with all this power, we will organize <clears throat> just in the best way next Yapsi uh, Europe. And you really don't want to miss it. So please, 
come. And yes, <coughs> oh, sorry. And don't forget to support us. We really need your help. You, uh, if you are interested in any kind of sponsorship or any kind of uh, organization support, please contact us. You can uh, find me here while I'm here, here today. Or you can just uh, send uh, tons of spam to that email address. And uh, that will bring you in contact to the entire of uh, YAPC Europe of uh, 2013 or 13, uh, next year. Uh, or you can, if you have more certain questions, more concrete questions, you can just contact a local team uh, in Kiev with that email address. So please don't hesitate to contact us and don't hesitate to help us. And yes, next year, just the same time. See you in Kiev. Thank you much, Frankfurt.